Welcome back to Leah. We all have things that we want to scratch off the old bucket list, no matter our age. So check out this trending stories topping our hot topics brought to you by Walton Art Center. One high flying 104 year old from Central Texas is living out his dreams and just jumped out of an airplane for the second time. So Ernie Columbus served in the Army, but after the war, he got into the Air Force where he served the remainder of his 26 year career. Whew, but he never jumped out of an airplane until later in life, and now he's hooked. Ernie says if he jumps again, he would like to do it on his 107th birthday. Do you have any aspirations of hopping out of a plane, Talia? You know, I'd like to go skydiving maybe after my track season. I don't know if I'd do it in my hundreds, but right. hey. It's no More time power. like the present, I That's suppose. That's right. <laughs> Go do it while you can. More power to you. I love the fact that, that, I mean, age is no obstacle here. Going out there and doing it, look at how much fun Yeah, he's having. living his life. I love that. <laughs> yes, I do too. Well, from one sport to another, two-time NBA champion Bill Walton has died. According to a league spokesperson, Walton was 71, passed away after a prolonged battle with cancer. Walton, of course, led the Portland Trailblazers to a championship back in 1977 and then won a second NBA title as a member of the Boston Celtics in 1986. After his Hall of Fame career as a player, Walton brought his unique perspective to the broadcasting booth where he sometimes went viral for his brand of color commentary. I have to say that was probably more recently the thing that I remember him for is, is doing the commentary. You've done a little bit of, uh, of commentary. You know how difficult that can be, right? Yeah, Sarah? it can be really hard, especially when you're used to playing on the other side of that. But <laughs> right. it brings a fun and exciting, colorful way to it. So I actually love doing it. I'm sure he was yeah, yeah, he was hilarious. And I remember my grandparents really liked him as a player as well. They had, I mean, he was colorful throughout his career, not only as a player, but also as a commentator. Well, the season started off with a whimper, with Furiosa barely beating out Garfield in what experts say was the worst Memorial Day box office weekend in decades. Experts say this summer could see total ticket sales barely crossing $3 billion compared to last summer's $4.1 billion domestic haul, driven in large part, of course, last year by the Barbenheimer excitement. And that kind of was a craze to Leah. Do you have any summer blockbusters you're looking forward to seeing? Well, I saw Planet of the Apes. I love Planet uh, of yeah, the Planet Apes. Yeah, Planet of the Apes, it was so good. But I think right now, just going forward, I'm trying to be outside. Yeah, uh, I'm with you. So I could see why the numbers may be down. But you know, yeah. I was in the movies about a week ago, and <laughs> it might be a while before they see It might see be a while again. before you return. I think that everybody kind of has that mentality this summer, which is why we're seeing this downward tick in box office sales. I do want to see this Furiosa movie, though, uh, at some point, and I, and I know seeing it on the big screen will be such a different experience than seeing it at home. So hopefully we can find time to do that. Check this one out. Intrepid mariners tried to stay afloat in vessels made of bare bones materials during the Schooner Wharf Minimal Regatta that happened in Key West. The offbeat regatta is a Memorial Day weekend tradition in the Florida Keys. Here are the rules of the event. They require each team to build a boat out of plywood, duct tape, and fasteners. Even caulking the boats is forbidden, though the costumes were, of course, encouraged, as you can see. And then prizes were awarded for the fastest boats, most creative designs, best paint jobs, best costumes, and sportsmanship, as well as the least <laughs> seaworthy vessels. So, I mean, it looks like it's all in good fun. <laughs> It looks like good fun, but you have to be super creative to be able to make those things out of, what was that, three? Yeah, I know, three, three ingredients. Yeah, I know. And and so many like don'ts. He's right. Yeah. I think this he, this person should be a winner uh, flying through it. Yeah, but that's that's fun. We like to talk about this every year because that minimal regatta happened down there at the Keys. Maybe, maybe one day in the future I'll find myself down there. <laughs> And well, bring one to Northwest Arkansas. Yeah, we should. We should bring one to Northwest Arkansas. I'm looking at you, Lake Fayetteville. Maybe that's the perfect spot.